Uh, finally, uh, home this week yes. after uh, many weeks on the road. Uh, yes. Two, two and two in conference play right yes. now. And uh, you just briefly uh, talked about the last week and then uh, home final. Yes, well, we're definitely very happy to be home and um, sleep in our own beds and, you know, get a little bit more rest than we've been getting the last three weeks. But last weekend we were at Sonoma and San Francisco. We we lost in five sets to Sonoma Friday night. It was a long, grueling match. Um, disappointed, of course, to come out, you know, uh, losing. But we played tough, and, you know, Sonoma State's a very good team. Second place in our conference last year, you know, going up against all Americans on their side of the net. We showed a lot of growth in that match for sure. Third set, we had a big lead that we let slip away. We feel a little bit disappointed about that. But um, anyway, San Francisco State on Saturday night, we played very well. I mean, I, I told our, our team, I think the first two sets against San Francisco may have been two of the best sets we played all season long. And then that intermission comes along and some just, you know, it makes it, I don't know, it's hard to come back and maintain that energy, maintain that level of play. But we almost got through it in three. Um, but we were able to get it together in the fourth and we controlled the set pretty pretty well and took it in four. We felt good about that. Great thing about uh, being home, you know, having that Thursday, Saturday, right? Yeah. Thursday and Friday. Yes. And rest a little bit yes. and prepare for the next opponent. But, but mm -hmm. talk about uh, the luxury of, uh, of having that kind of format the Thursday, Saturday. I so much prefer having, you know, a practice before playing, you know, another team that back to back. It's it's kind of, it's kind of a difficult situation. You don't want to get your girls thinking about the Saturday match early in the week when you know you got to focus on Friday night. But now we get to play Thursday, have a Friday match where we can then talk about Chico State who we play Saturday. And so I'm I'm, I'm just very happy to be home this week. And let's talk about that uh, the uh, Santa Claus uh, here on Thursday. Stanislaus is good. They um, they played very well. They beat East Bay last week, and they beat East Bay in four sets. Who beat us two weeks ago? Um, watched film on them. They run a six-two. You know, they had a very they they look a lot like us on paper. Actually, they have a lot of the more balanced offense. You know, they set a lot of girls, and a lot of girls contribute for them. Run a six-two as we do, um, and they'll 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 be they'll be tough for sure on Thursday. If I was head coach, I'd be really happy with the, the split the, the last two weekends. I'm sure you'd like to have won all those uh, matches. But uh, I just talk, uh, talk about being home for the, the next uh, couple of weeks. Um, you know, probably a, a good opportunity to see more of what this uh, Jacks team is all about facing more conference opponents, especially at home. Yeah. I mean, they're very excited to play at home, to be at home. I mean, like I said, to sleep in their own beds, is not miss class. We haven't been to a Friday. We've been to class on Friday, I think, one time this year, you know, and just kind of get themselves back, caught up back in the classroom. Um, but, I, sorry. I that's, just, that's okay. <laughs> it just... It just escaped me. Um, repeat what you were asking me again. I, I think just the, the next couple of weeks being at home and just kind of seeing, you know, what this Jacks team is about. Oh yeah, and yeah, and that's what I was what I was going to go on to. And it is going to be nice to be at home, but we have a very tough road ahead in these next two weeks. We play five very good, co you know, conference opponents. We have uh, Stanislaus and Chico this week, and then we go San Bernardino, who is you know the reigning champions for the last decade. And, you know, so it's not going to be any easier. But we're yeah, we're excited to be home for sure. What does, uh, what, uh, you know, after recognize not conference and conference, what has worked really well for you guys in the first month uh, of the season? Well, we have been passing the ball very well in serve receive, and that makes your side out ability so much easier. You know, we're, we're able to side out at a high clip because of our passing. Our libero, Lope Haley Biles, has been playing very well. Um, just, just like I said, our serve receive and our defense, I think she had 30 digs Friday night against Sonoma State. So we're sustaining rallies, we're keeping balls alive and giving our offense opportunities to end points. And we have a lot of offense, you know, and that's what our opponents' coaches have been commenting on a lot as well. It's like, we don't know who to key on against you guys. You know, you've got three solid arms in the front row in every rotation, and that is a luxury. You know, we're going up against teams, even Sonoma State's teams that have beaten us, we're trying, you know, they've got one All-American in the front row and then a couple other players that don't, that rarely see the ball, but it's still kind of tough to stop those All-Americans, even though you know you know where it's gonna go. Um, but yeah, that's that's definitely our strength, is our ball control, and um, our serve receive's been very consistent. Our offense is balanced and keeps teams off balance. Um, and then we've been serving really tough and getting teams out of system. And if we can, if we can put teams in predictable situations, then our defense is much more successful. Coach, uh, this being your second year now at HSU, uh, do you feel do you think you have a better feel for how the CCA conference competition is like? Yeah. What are you doing to prepare for that tough schedule 
what are you doing differently this year than you did last year? Well, I don't think I'm necessarily doing anything differently. I mean, we prepare the same way, but we have a lot more depth this year, and we have a returning group this year, which is what I talked about early on in the year when you guys were talking to me. It's so different to have a group of girls who also know what it's about. You know, we were all a bunch of rookies last year, and we were all just sort of wide-eyed going, oh, my gosh, this is tough, you know, and we didn't know what to expect and had no idea how good everyone was from top to bottom, you know, and that's absolutely true in this conference, you know. No one in our conference is undefeated. It's we're two weeks in and everyone's lost. You know, teams have it's just it's just up in the air every night. If you're off, you have a very you have a very difficult chance. You know, it's gonna be very tough on you. And so I don't know, I think having the returning core has made a huge difference. Our leadership this year is much better. The girls are much more bought in, they get along, they're working really hard together, our chemistry is very good right now. And we got a couple player, you know, we got an injured player back who's contributing a lot. We got two uh, very good transfers in Nicole Buley and Haley Biles who are helping us out a lot. So um, the experience and the return, you know, the, the experience of the returning group as well as the addition of a couple more players has made quite a difference for us this year.